hello everyone welcome to another youtube video on the code angle youtube channel my name is deji and in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how we can display a list of various cryptocurrencies out there ranked from top to the list and we'll be making use of that using the coin ranking api coin ranking is a platform that gives robust data on cryptocurrencies out there as you can see from this page they have the cryptocurrency the price and the market cap for each cryptocurrencies up to the first list here is up to 50 then you can navigate as much as you want so basically what we'll be doing is we'll be connecting to the api the public api that they have and then we'll be showing it on our own page let me show you so this is what we'll be building we have data on the various cryptocurrencies out there as you can see from the table that we have the uuid the BTC price, their rank, the tier, the name, the price, and the symbol for each cryptocurrency. We'll be doing this basically using vanilla JavaScript, so we won't be creating any backend code. We'll not be making use of any backend code. So it's surely go it's purely going to be from the front end, making use of JavaScript and the fetch API. So that's what we'll use to connect to the coin ranking api so we have a list of 50 cryptocurrencies here from the first one which is bitcoin which i'm sure we are all familiar with and is making the rounds lately to yen finance which personally i've never heard of um i'm sure some of you out there might have heard of the yfi also known as the yen finance cryptocurrency so this is basically what we'll be building today so please stay tuned and like and subscribe to my channel so that um the youtube algorithm will be able to help with suggestions and i'll be able to produce more videos so give it a thumbs up and i would really appreciate that so that's it let's get started <music> So first things first, um, you I would like us to come to this page, coinranking.com. So once you get there, navigate to the footer of the page. So what we want to do here is to get the API key. This will enable us to connect to the the data for the cryptocurrency. So where you go to is the products under the the footer page, then the footer section rather. So when you click on the coin ranking API, it takes you to this page. So once it gets here, you have other details like the pricing and docs and etc. But what we want to do here is to just generate the key. I've already done mine. So what you have to do here is just um, provide your first name and your last name and then your email. So once you do that and then you click on generate API key, you are going to get an API key immediately. You do that. So let's see. Let me just try that out so you see what I mean. Let's say let's go with jendo jendo then our email should be let's give it jondo at example.com since this is not a real email address let me just generate the key okay first we need to agree to the terms and conditions of course <laughs> so let me click on generate api key okay user already exists okay let me just put two here okay fantastic we have our api key ready so this this is all we need to do on this page for us to be able to connect to the api key and you can also do well to check out the documentation to see various things you can do with this api for us what we'll be doing is to get a list of all the coins so that's our endpoints for slash coins so that's the endpoint we'll be connecting to so this one gives us a list of all the cryptocurrencies along with other data like the price the symbol the btc price and the uuid so here is the url we'll be connecting to then we'll be appending our api key to it in the documentation here they did it making use of node.js but we'll be making use of um, purely javascript with the help of the fetch api so let's get started with that anyway so what i'm gonna do is to navigate to 
my file let me create a file and then a folder rather and then from there we can we can start with the project so let me create a folder called crypto let me give it a key since that's the name that's the name i gave to this application so crypto then i open up open the folder in the command line and then also in the visual studio code so let's start with the usual suspects which is going to be our index.html style.css and then the app.js so let's generate a, some code for the html and then we're gonna call it the name of our app which is crypto creep there's a y there somewhere and then let's link the other files which is the javascript and the css files so linking the javascript is going to be source app.js and then here we're going to be having link tag which is going to be style.css right yes correct so we're going to be having a navbar section here so navbar section Oh, what am I doing? Comments that and then the table section. So that's looking good. So for the design, we'll be making of get of Bootstrap 5, the beta version. So let's go to the website getbootstrap.com. So on the get bootstrap website, the landing page, we have access to the link tag, which gives us the ability to access the bootstrap css links so let me format this page okay perfect looking better so for the navbar section i'm just gonna grab a navbar here to make things move faster so let me click on get started on the bootstrap page then navbar i'm gonna be making use of a fixed navbar so let me type let me search for fixed fixed so the fixed nav yeah nav with fixed stop so i copy that then i paste it here let's save and see how it looks like on the page with the help of live server we'll be able to display it on the browser and there you have it fixed stop so i want to change this to the name of our dashboard which is k r i p t o crypto and then the test it's light i want it to be dark the background rather i want it to be dark so let's save and see how it looks like oh it uh makes added uh, our test crypto test is dark by default so it disappears with our background so let me change that to text light which is also another bootstrap class i'm sure we are familiar with bootstrap so there we have it crypto i want to add a form to this place to make it look a bit nicer so let me search for form a header with a form i think this is one so let me just copy the form and paste it somewhere around within the container fluid i guess that should work let me save and see yeah so that's perfect we can now work on the table navbar works looks really nice so for the table section instead of copying from the bootstrap page let me just um do something straight off my head so let me just create a table tag and add a class a bootstrap class of table and table border table dash border yeah, i think that's it and i press enter so the table is going to have it head so let's add the other javascript tags to make the table look nice so here we have it so tr table row so in here we have each of the headings where we display the respective datas 
so we start with u uid it's going to have a scope of coal which stands for colon so i'm going to copy this down about six more times so the rest we're going to have btc price we're going to have rank next rank tier name the price and then the symbol so that will be one more i'm going to copy one more down symbol and then save so we can check this out in our page okay it seems to disappear something wrong somewhere okay i think i have an idea of what's happening maybe our table header might have disappeared within a fixed nav bar so let me just give it a margin top so let's do an insta yeah of tabletop let me give it something like 90 px to see if it's gonna come down i hope this works yeah there you have it so we can see our table header and then i think i would like to give it some margin so in the style of css page let me give the entire body a margin of an overall margin of 30 px i think that's not too much so fantastic so we have our table header so what we need to do next is the body so the body here would be displayed from the javascript part of the um, code make we'll look through the data coming from the api so we'll loop it and append it to the body of the page so uh, what we want to do now is just create the table body tag so when i say t body and then it's going to have an id of data what am i doing id of data so i think that's it for the design of the of the table so what we want to do next is now to access the coin ranking coin rank api and then um, display the data to the body of this page so let's let's see how that goes so in the app.js file this is where we're going to be making the api call to coins ranking and by default we're expected to do this by making use of the node.js script for us we'll be making use of the front end code by making use of fetch normally by going through this route we'll be getting course error but we are going to bypass the course error making use of something called the proxy url the pro proxy url will enable us to query the api for an amount of time without getting any of the course errors i I, th I think the course error is just meant to protect the api keys because they are not expecting you to you normally are not expected to make your public key and api key available on the front end is supposed to be in the back end then before you can be able to query the api according to how the coin ranking api was public api was structured but with the help of the proxy url we are going to be able to bypass that so first things first let me create some variables this one is going to be the base url second is going to be the proxy url then the third is going to be the api key so we get the base url from the coin ranking documentation and this is going to be slash coins since we want to get all the coins and this is version 2 i think there is a version 1 of this api but for this video we are making use of version 2 to make to get the proxy url so i'm going to open a new tab and i'm going to search for how to use course anywhere to reverse proxy so once i search for that on stack overflow there's a result that gives us the link 
for the course anywhere URL that would help us avoid the course error. So I paste that here. Then lastly, the API key. So my API key is here. So I'm going to copy that. You should copy your own API key here. Normally, it shouldn't be shown directly in the browser for good practice, but this is not a production project. It's just to show us how to get um, data on cryptocurrency. So normally, you want to protect your API key. So moving further, now we can now fetch the data using the fetch API. So let's make keys of the template material. And then I'm going to say proxy call that variable called proxy URL and also this URL. then we're gonna have other parameters within the fetch api which is a method the method is gonna be a get request because we're getting data and we're gonna have the headers the headers is gonna have something called content type content type which is gonna be appl um, application slash json then the next one is gonna be your custom header i think from the documentation here what we have here is x access token so i'm going to copy this and just put this here x access is supposed to be in quotes then i'm going to append the api key make use of templates literals once again so that will be api key then lastly lastly what i expect to be here will be the access controller origin this is also to prevent some um, cost error access control control c o n can spell that properly control allow origin This is going to be a white card, so asterisk. So with that, we should be able to query the API and at least log something to the database. So it's going to return the promise. So I say dot then, then say response. Let's log the response. Then let's see what what we'll be having on the what's it called. On the console so let me also catch meanwhile let me catch it's also always important to do this so catch error let's just lock that also to the console error so i save let's check the console so we have something called response here let me open that so all we have here is just let me expand that request body headers we have okay of true okay status test of true type of course but this is not the data we want so we are we have to sort of log the real response to the console and to do that let me remove this console log to do that we have to add json to it so let me create a condition that if response dot okay what we have there is okay not status if response dot okay if the response is okay to go if it's good to go so we can say response dot json open a parenthesis then it returns another promise so dot then json the real json data we are expecting so we can actually log this onto the console now so if i say json let's say let's log that to the console clg console.log json i believe we should be able to get the real data from here yeah there you have it we have success we have data we have coins and statistics so we are trying to get the coins and we've now gotten all the data we need we can look through this and then display it to the table so this is fantastic we have 50 coins over here 
50 coins so this is the first second third fourth fifth 30 47 and 49 which is 50 it started counting from zero so we also have something else in the objects in the data object which is that so we have total total volume total but we won't be making use of it you can also use this personally but i'll just be making use of all, only the coins i'll look through it and then display it to the console so in fact let me just say json dot data dot coins to see for you to get what i mean so we have an array of 50 we have only the coins now so that's perfect so we need to do some dumb manipulation next so to do the dumb manipulation i'm going to create a new variable let me just say let's coin coins data that is the data for the coin equals to json.data.coins so json the data dot coins so this is what we use to manipulate so let me create a condition that if the coins data variable dot length is greater than zero then we created we create another variable called the crypto coin which is going to be an empty array uh, an empty variable rather crypto coin So it's an empty variable. So we can now start by looping through the the crypto coin, the crypto uh, the coins data variable that we created earlier. So let me just say we we'll make use of the for loop. For loop starts. So let me say coins data dots for each coin and then yeah we open a parenthesis and a bracket then we say crypto what's it called crypto coins so this is where we add the table row so table row To open the table row, then before we now start adding the table data that would show on the body of each of the table heading that we have here the UID, the BTC price, the rank, and the tier. So let me start. Let me let me start with the first one. So crypto, crypto coins. So appending it to each of them. We're gonna make use of the templates later out here. So CD oh, supposed to open here. so that will be coin.uid uuid so slash td so i'm going to copy this down about seven more times one two three four okay if you are wondering where i got this uid when you see the console here we see the various data we can show on the page we have the rank we have the price we have the name we have the market cap we have the listed at icon url the color the coin ranking url and the likes but we only make use of the a few of them here so you can do whatever you want this is your id we first did we, we did first on the page so the next one i'm going to be doing is the btc price so let me just copy this btc price that the next one is the rank so the rank what is the the next one is the tier let me copy that should be the exact same thing so it is going to be able to look through it then we have the name the name then we have the the price the price and lastly we have the symbol so the symbol so 
we need to close the table row so to do that let me just open a the closing tab for the table row and then so that's it so we now need to append it to the html so how to do that is to get remember we create a an id of data so this is what we're, we're going to be using so we say document dot get elements by id which is going to be data dot inner html equals to crypto coin crypto coins so i think this should work let's save and see what we have on the page coin is not defined coin is not defined oh it's coin not coins coin is not defined so there you go our data now shows on the page fantastic we have all the list of cryptocurrencies so i think this price is looking weird so i want to use the math dot round a function in javascript so what i'm going to do is just um do math dot round then i open a parenthesis so i think that should do and then let's put a dollar sign at the front billion is in billions so that's it that's it for this project i think we are able to learn one or two things from here we made use of the fetch api to display the data on the dashboard so let me add dashboard to this so let me say crypto dashboard so i guess you're able to learn from this and you can use the api to you can experiment with this and use this to learn one or two things yourself so uh, if you like the video smash the like button subscribe turn on the notification these are the things that i need to encourage me to keep making videos so i really appreciate it if you do that so thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one stay blessed goodbye